Hello and welcome to this learning video. As you all know that we are solving problems on binomial distribution. So continuing with that, we again have some problems like the day to day life problem that we can encounter. So those problem also can be solved with the help of binomial distribution. So what we are waiting for? Let us start with this problem. So this problem says an insurance salesman sells policies to five men, all of identical age and in good health. Okay. The probability that a man of this particular age will be alive 30 years is two by three. So that is the success. So probability of success is given as two by three. So we can find out Q. Okay. Q is equal to one minus P. That is 1 by 3 and and what is the number of uh, men taking the policies uh, so number of policies to 5 men so n is equal to 5 okay so here in this problem we have n is equal to 5 p is equal to 2 by 3 and q is equal to 1 minus p that is 1 minus 2 by 3 that is 1 by 3. So we have this and we know by, by binomial distribution by binomial distribution we have we have what we have probability of x is equal to x is ncx p power x q power n minus x. Okay, so let us find out one by one. Okay, this, these problems are very simple if you understand it. Okay, so what is the first one? Probability of all five men to be alive. So probability of all five men, if you want, you can write for all five men. That is probability of x is equal to five. So what is it? Apply here, n is five. So five c five. What is P? P is 2 by 3 power 5 into Q is 1 by 3 power 0. 2 power 5, 5C5 five five is 1, 2 power 5 is 32, 3 power 5 is 243. So it is like 32 upon 243, right? Yeah. Next, what we have to find out? Next, we have to find out probability of where it is at least 3 men at least three men what does it mean at least three men three men means probability of x greater than equal to three we want at least three men to be alive more than three is also well and good okay so this can be written as probability of x greater than equal to three we can write this one as in how many policies uh, policies are selling to five men so i can write probability of x equal to 3, probability of x equal to 4, plus probability of x is equal to 5, okay? So, this is same as, now apply to this, uh, 5c3, 2 by 3, power 3, into 1 by 3, power 5 minus 3, 2, plus 4c, sorry, n is, n is 5, 5c4, 2 by 3 power 4 into 1 by 3 x other yeah 1 by 3 power 5 minus 4 that's 1 plus what is it 5 c 5 2 by 3 power 5 into 1 by 3 power 0 now you can solve this and when you solve this you'll be getting the probability to be 192 by 243 okay that is the probability of at least three men fine now we have to find out uh, three more things one is only two men at least and at most at least and at most so i think probability of two men you can easily found out that is probability of x is equal to two next thing that you can find out is uh, is what the next thing that you can find out is the probability of at most one man or at least one. I will solve only one. 
so if you want i will solve at least one and at most one means at most one means at the most one means zero and one so you can find out this probability of x equal to two also probability of x equal to zero and x is equal to one i am going to solve this so third and four you have to do i am solving the last one probability of at least at least one man which is probability of x greater than x is equal to 1 this can be written as 1 minus probability of x less than 1 which means 1 minus probability of x is equal to 0 ok so what is it so you can write this one as now I am writing over here that is uh, 1 minus what is n 5 5 c 0 p p is 2 by 3 come here yeah power x x is 0 into q that is 1 by 3 power 5 so 1 upon 3 power 5 is 243 and this is a 5 5 by 243 minus this 243 238 242 okay so he'll be getting something like 242 by 243 okay 5c0 is 1 correct okay this is uh, 1 1 by 243 243 minus 1 okay so this is the probability that at least one man will be alive after 30 years okay now i would like to take one more problem on this uh so if let me see if time permits okay so we'll uh, we'll take one more problem on that which is uh, related to you like uh, the probability of uh, probability that an entering college entering college student will graduate is 0.4 and we have to determine out of five students none will graduate one will graduate or at least one will graduate that we shall take in the live sessions okay so thank you for watching this learning video and keep learning and keep enjoying mathematics thank you